I am Alec Kunan. I am Jaquan Smith. I am Yeshai Yeshua. We are students of the Camille Henry Memorial School. We have been using hand sanitizers daily for the past two years. But have you ever wondered how well does your hand sanitizer work? This year's Science Fair project tries to answer that question. We started by creating an environment for our bacteria to live in. We use marmite, yeast extract, agar, hot filtered water, a measuring cup, a clean spoon and measuring spoon, and a clean surface. We measured about two cups of boiling filtered water into a measuring jug. We took a very small amount of yeast extract to the hot water and mixed. This served as food for our bacteria. Then we added 12 teaspoons of agar and mixed carefully. This was placed in a microwave for four minutes and the hot agar was poured into petri dishes and was allowed to cool. 11 of our classmates volunteered to be our test subjects. We got a brand new set of cotton swabs. We swabbed the volunteers' unwashed, unsanitized hands, then swabbed it on a clean plate and labeled it unsanitized with the name of the volunteer and the date. We used nine different brands of sanitizer. We asked the volunteer to use the hand sanitizer as directed by the label and then swab their hands with a clean cotton swab. This swab was then used to swab a clean agar plate which was labeled sanitized, name of the volunteer, the hand sanitizer used and the date. We left one plate aside as the control, which means we didn't expose this plate. We left the plates in a corner in our classroom where it wasn't too cold or hot. We observed the plates daily. On day one of the experiment, as expected, the plates remained unremarkable. By day four of the experiment, we noticed small white dots on the plates, including the plates labeled sanitized. One of the plates had some black spots on it. After eight days, three out of the 11 sanitized plates had very little bacterial growth. All of the other sanitized plates had almost equal growth as the unsanitized plates. The control plates had no bacterial growth. The three sanitized plates that did not produce much bacteria, bacterial growth as the others were from the Aval gel sanitizer and the Blue Caribbean spray. The Aval gel had 62% alcohol and the Blue Caribbean spray had 76% alcohol. It had the least amount of bacterial growth. The amount of alcohol in the nine sanitizers used the range from 62% to 70%. 6% alcohol. The amount of alcohol didn't have a very big effect on the growth of bacteria. When compared to another gel sanitizer, Deuce Plus, with 75% alcohol, the locally made Blue Caribbean spray produced less bacterial growth. It appears that the spray as well as the higher alcohol percentage works best. Four out of the nine sanitizers claim to eliminate 99.9% .9 of the bacteria, but none of them did. We had expected the hand sanitizers to work better than they did. After this experiment, we now understand why it is so important to wash our hands. We now prefer to use a spray hand sanitizer with more than 70% alcohol. To make our experiment better, we should use more sanitizers with a wider range of sanitizers and repeat the experiments. The mold grew because of the condensation in the plates. It would be better to control the temperature where the plates were stored 
and remove the water inside the plate.